Former Cowboys wide receiver Amari Cooper recently called out offensive coordinator Kellen Moore due to the fact that he thinks that Kellen Moore might be holding back CeeDee Lamb going forward. And he also mentioned a couple other things in a recent interview over the radio. Today we'll talk about what he said. Did he have any valid points to what he said? And overall, does this thing that he mentions, is it something we got to worry about in 2022? So before we get started, if you can like this video, that'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Do not miss out on more content when it drops. So we all know that Amari Cooper got traded to the Cleveland Browns for very late draft capital. And now the Cowboys look stupid right now for letting the guy go. However, Cooper did talk about his expectations for C.D. Lamb and he feels that he's ready to take that next step. He said the following, I think if Kellen decides to feature him, he's definitely ready to step up. And it's just funny because it really feels like Kellen Moore is still growing into this offensive coordinator thing. Whether that's his fault or not is a whole nother thing. But Cooper did, end, he did go on to say this, even though we had a really good season, the few losses that we did have... They were all to teams that we could potentially play in the playoffs, Cooper said. So I was kind of frustrated in that regard because I saw the trend of me getting the ball in the red area and stuff like that. And I was like, man, all these playoff teams that we're losing to, we're going to have to play them again. And if we play them, how we played them, not taking advantage of the playmakers that we have to that we can win, we're going to lose. I was able to foresee that. And Amari Cooper is right. You know, this is something that plagued the Cowboys last season is that it really felt like that when they played the playoff teams that they just didn't look prepared or they just didn't adjust to what caused them to lose games like the Arizona game, for example, right? And what's imp and you could even throw in the Tampa Bay game too. But still, I do believe that he has a point as well to how Kellen Moore does his offensive play calling because of this. Kellen Moore has gone out and said that he doesn't believe that one guy should get all the targets. This isn't the first time that we've heard this. Now, with that being said, I think what's also important to talk about as well is that as we continue to move along, he's going to eventually have to realize that if someone is hot, give him the ball. Amari Cooper, we knew force fed in the ball. This offense looked very much so dynamic, and it was pushing pace. If CeeDee Lamb, if he's not getting the ball because you feel like the guy shouldn't get a whole lot of targets, you're in the wrong business, pal. And that's what I'm worried about that will happen with Amari Cooper's comments being said that will happen to the Cowboys in 2022. That they will continue their ways of let's just do receiver by committee, and regardless of talent level, we're going to go ahead and say all of these things and, you know, just be like, sound like we're going to do all these nice things. We're scheming and stuff like that. But the big thing that I'm worried about with Kellen Moore is his run scheme. That's something that really, really, really needs to be hunkered down and worked on this entire offseason because the Dallas Cowboys could not establish the run in a, in a way that would help them in some of these games. I'm not saying you have to rely on the run game, but the problem is is the way we were running the football was so inefficient that it made no sense for us to utilize the run game. So if Kellen wants to continue to develop as an offensive coordinator, he needs to work on his schemes when it comes to running the football. And, you know, it sucks that Amari Cooper isn't here anymore. I really feel like that we are missing out on his play and things of that nature, but we got to keep in mind this is that if the Cowboys wanted to keep Amari Cooper, and I stress this, they could have kept him. They elected not to keep him for other reasons, which we're all aware about at this point, but again, this could be a very bad situation the Cowboys are putting themselves in, but I don't want to go any further, especially with what has been presented today so if you can leave me a like subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already and i'll catch you guys in the next one have a going guys goodbye